Oh, look, we, we pretty much cleaned out of all this. I cleared out of all this. We we're going to have a problem, though, because we have these storage storage units here that uh, really just do well when submerged. So... What's in them? Eggshell, slime. What can we do with eggshell? We process that? Let's see, slime. Obviously, we can process slime into algae. Polluted dirt. Rotten. You've yeah, got a lot of rotten food. See, eggshell, bleach stone. Not a, I mean, it, there's a good amount of bleach stone, actually. See, and tons of slime. So we have a lot, pardon me, uh, a lot of slime. I wonder if we should just make, like, a couple of little, like, little holes and just slide in a container and then fill it with water. And that'll just keep it full because they're not going to go in there to get it. I think that's brilliant. We could keep it somewhere accessible, too. But where would I put that? God, this is such a mess over here. <sighs> you can't even see anything. I uh, see. Awaiting damage. So it's damage probably because of uh, pollutants in the line. Yeah, there's still some pollutants in the line. That's fine. A little bits here and there. I'll live. Food supply. We've been living off mealwood forever. <laughs> and somehow these guys have a mutiny or anything. All right, let me look at my list. So, uh, wart, oxifer. Let's go ahead and take this out. So, heat in the basement. That was one of the that was one of the major things that I had set up here. So, wart, oxiferns, done. Batteries above natty gas gens. Move uh, batteries to conductive wire. I don't know. Well, that's that's pretty much resolved. So, uh, one natty per air. No, that's resolved. Better battery control. We did that. Batteries. Okay, done with that. Temp shift everything. Working on that. Great. Hey, look at that. Natty Ice Generators. <laughs> That's where the inspiration for that name came from, surely. But it rolls off the tongue so easily. Natty Ice. Zooming through. 430. We're definitely going to get 500 today. For sure. Well, knock on wood. Something spectacular happens. Okay, is this water going? No, because they can't get through these doors, right? Yep, that's right. Is it just that one? Yes, it is. Good. Big smart. All right, so they'll fuck. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, there you go. Killing Dave. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Do this thing. Do this thing. When do y'all do this thing? Scalding hot. It's super hot in there, guys. Don't worry about all that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. So I knew I had another filter somewhere. Here it is. So this filter is just chilling here, and it uh, any any gas that comes up here, polluted oxygen that gets through, it's just gonna take care of it. So I knew I had another one somewhere. There it is. All right. Drip, 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 drip. I wonder if this is going to have any impact on the temperature in this room. This is, this is take a, let's take a sample right from the, the middle ladder here is 196.5 degrees. Okay. Middle ladder and middle drain. Middle drain is 201. So let's just say 200 degrees basically is like the overall temperature. So the question is, when I pump in all this 100 degree water, which is a lot, and we're doing it at a very rapid pace. Uh, matter of fact, that should be a very full pipe. It is a very full pipe. Um, we should see a temperature drop in this room. Short, oh yeah, short term, yeah. For, oh yeah, obviously, we only have so much water. Uh, but that will, there's, 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 there's a chain reaction here. If we cool this room, even temporarily, and by temporarily, like, we're talking, we're talking like 20 cycles, right? Actually, this thing, dormancy in 39 cycles, this one is going to go dormant. Oh, we don't know, actually. that We have not yet analyzed that one yet. Um, but yeah, if we cool this room, even for like, let's say 20 cycles, we keep it cool, right? Keep it manageable. Then the water that comes out of it is going to be a manageable uh, temp, which means it's going to give this zone more of an opportunity to, uh, to cool off, which is what we need. We, we can't just stop the water supply because the water is, is basically, I mean, the, this water supply is basically supplying the entire base. So we can't just, you know, stop that, but we can alter the temperature and then give this thing a break. Wow. This is putting out so much heat right here. Um, and then maybe get some kind of recovery going in here. I, I, I'm well aware that we're never going to freeze this room. Like, this room is never going to get frozen again. But it's jam-packed with hydrogen, and so I'm hoping that we can, uh, we can utilize some of that. And look, we're actually, this, this thing is, uh, 
has stopped working because of max gas pressure. So how does that impact everything? So we're not going to have hydrogen that's going to come out and get fed into, or the oxygen is not going to go and get fed out into the rest of the base. So, so that's another problem. That's a, that's a probably right now problem. Hatchling egg. How many beds do I have? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I have 10. Okay. So I do have one more spot here. We just got to find something that's worthy. All that dirty bong water. Ugh, that's gross. <laughs> Oh man. Um, so we had to release some of the pressure in here. Radiator set up with gas line and water lines crossing the cool, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, this thing's not running, so this is a problem, right? We do have to we do have to get some of this hydrogen out and into the uh, or some of this oxygen that this thing's supposed to be pumping like out and into the into the world. We can always bypass it and just put another electrolyzer over here if we need to. But we also have a very breathable atmosphere in here. And it's going to take a long time to bring this down. You are getting way more than you are using. I mean, just for now. But I'm getting there. I, I'm sure there's play, I have plenty. I got it. <laughs> I'll get there. Why are they building this, I wonder? Igneous rock. Hmm. Um, but yeah, no, what, I, I don't want to, okay, so I, I mentioned this yesterday, but I don't think you were here in Inferno. Um, I don't want to just vent gases for the sake of venting them, unless, like, in this room's sake, or this room, for an example, I did vent a ton of gas that was, um, polluted oxygen, uh, and carbon dioxide, I think. And so I basically just, just, just popped a hole down here, and then just let it go out into space. But I don't want to do that for... You know, for all the gases, because some of it I could just store. I just it's a matter of just finishing like this and store it all, and then I could just use that later. And then if I if I have like a massive amount, a massive backlog or massive storage of uh of hydrogen or whatever, then it's like all right. So now we should probably talk about uh, venting some. But for right now, I don't feel like I'm I I don't feel secure enough in letting all that go. Like I would never let natural gas go because these you know these things are are not full and we're using it constantly. Pop goes in and part. What's going on? Just light of smoke. It's good. Uh, this is actually getting full of natural gas. <laughs> so we probably open up another something down here. We have lots of petroleum down here that's uh, ready to go. Probably go ahead and put. Probably go ahead and actually start digging this out. That's a five. They'll work on this as as needed. Actually, I do want to put some generators down here. Oh boy. Yeah, this area is getting pretty packed too. I was going to have I was gonna, I had a solution for this, but apparently it's uh it's going to have to wait. <laughs> it's a lot of natural gas. Yeah, my solution's going to have to wait. I was going to build a uh just just build a barrier right here so that way uh like a door and all that so that way all this natural gas will get just sucked up in here and then I was going to cut this out and then just put a pump right here and just have that pump just grab everything and bring it down. But now it's all over the place, so that's that makes uh, it's gonna make it a little bit. Natural gas is gonna leak, um, or it might not actually. What's the pressure here? Uh, eventually, it's gonna win the pressure game. It's already winning the pressure game. <laughs> it's it's at like four thousand in some areas. Oh my god! Yeah, this is definitely building up pressure, which means that this this oil well is gonna eventually cease to work because of pressure issues. So why are you standing around? It's probably his break. Let him go. It's probably a break. How's this doing? To see the middle one is, is that middle one somewhere around here 153 degrees we've already dropped at 50 degrees <laughs> uh, up here 192 degrees so this is this is only dropped basically uh, negligible so sorry to compactor find uses now but that is me yeah it's gonna take forever for all that to dump in there but at least it's gonna dump it in there and get it clean we're gonna have we're gonna have a back we're gonna have a water backup issue i'm sure eventually because well, no, actually, this is just pure dirt water that's pulling out. So all that water is going to get mixed with whatever. It's going to, eventually it's going to be all pure dirt water coming out. So if all that goes into this system, we could just increase this valve here and that'll get some of this pressure relief. It's already starting to back up a little bit. Like I'm willing to bet this number is probably climbing pretty significantly. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. So we probably should uh, open up this valve just a little bit more. What temperatures is water that's in here? 
94 degrees. Yeah, I don't mind sending that over. We'll just make this. We'll make this like 250. I wish I could see what the actual rate of increase this was. So I could just add that to the line over there. Just let that bleed. But it's just a matter of just... If we, if we could get it all in there and we could watch this and see that that number is not climbing, then... Or get this number dialed in and see that number is not climbing, then we're good. Did he do it yet? Oh, uh, average flow rate 250, okay. The number is decreasing. Uh, kind of. 3692, 3697, 3700, 3706, 3709. You know what? Let's go ahead and increase it a little bit more. Let's make this uh, 350. There we go. Hopefully, oh, it is again in the hallway. It should not. I said that last time, though. Oh, good. They're working on this. Good. We need more power. Algae. Oh, boy. Yeah, we need more power. So let's get... Maybe we'll make a completely separate... Like, just power... Storage or whatever down here. And then just feed that line in somewhere else. Because right now we're using... Excuse me. We're using the main line that's come from all the way up here to power all this stuff. And I want to add another thing. And it's already 2,700 watts. Like, that's... Like, it's definitely going to go over. And we add more shit to that, and it's going to just... It's going to blow. So, maybe we should try to avoid using heavy watt wire because it's so expensive in terms of, like, materials. With a big old battery room, yeah. So, well, a battery room would be one thing we could do, just to st and then and then we could put a bunch of power generation down here, um, and just create like a completely separate remote area for dupes to. We'll have like one dupe that just lives down here, you know, and their job is just to work down here. Food, getting food down here. I guess we could try the conveyor system or something. I've never used the conveyor system either, so. I feel like such a noob. I haven't, I haven't played anything. I haven't played this game at all <laughs> for like so many, like what, a year and a half? And so many things changed. Yeah, it's obvious that we're going to have to cut all this out here. Let's go ahead and do it like this. Whatever they can reach. We're going to build this ladder up. Well, no, wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Because I don't want them opening and closing this door right now. Have you counted zombie spore yet? What? What is that? No, I haven't even heard of that. <laughs> How's the temperature in here? Ah, it's all green! You see, it's working! It's all green. It was 100 degrees over here. Now it's 74. Over here is the hottest, 77. What is the oxygen? Yeah, 78. Hey. Gonna get some blue soon. Uh, zombie spore, you're in for a treat. Oh, man. Look at that one tube. Yeah, it'll be that one extra dude who kind of just lives down here. No, yeah, I, I, have, I have no idea what you're talking about. I, I don't even know if you're like just bullshitting me. <laughs> you could, you could be just making that up. Let's see. Let's build a few storage units down here. I do want to make this a bit more of a permanent station for somebody. I don't know who. So let's go ahead and do just a row of those. Let's go ahead and put some batteries up here as well. Just wait for the save. Someone doesn't read the wheel. <laughs> that's... <laughs> that's... That's... That's such a, like... <laughs> uh, I don't even know what to call that. Uh-oh. And we'll open automatically with update. Okay, cool. Thanks. What? Weird. Dropbox has, like, never said that. What are they doing? What are they doing to my stuff? Uh, someone didn't read the wiki. Someone didn't read the encyclopedia. <laughs> all right, so we'll get some power up here. We'll connect all these things with heavy watt. I think we have lots of iron, so we're going to use iron for all this. So iron heavy watt. Maybe we kill those and we'll put instead a transformer. More than meets the ore. What, like, maybe we should put two transformers and keep things, like... Because there's only 2,000 watts. And I feel like for future-proofing... Yeah, let's do it. Two transformers. Heavy watt wire. Heavy watt wire this, bish. Then we'll go across. Wire that. Then we'll go ahead and get the... Lead. Yeah, lead. 
And we'll get some conductive wire started. Big nut. But no, as long as it... Uh, you're getting close to lava too? No, man. Wait, is that part of the zombie spore thing? There is lava down here. A volcano. Look at that. 2700 degrees. I, I have no idea how to tame any of that. But I'm sure we'll get there. And then what we'll do is we will... They will branch across here and run some heavy watt wire down in there. That way we keep all this stuff on heavy watt. Heavy, heavy watt? I'm a dad. Uh, zombie spore appears in oil biomes. Oh God! You could just say anything. I'll believe it. I'll believe it. I'll totally believe it. Okay, so we're done with this. Uh, we should keep going here. What are my priorities on that? Fives. Okay, it's fine. So all this stuff will get built, built eventually. Let's go ahead and we'll path some uh, heavy watt. No, 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 no. We don't need a path heavy watt to that. We can just attach this to one of our transformers and just have that be, have that transformer basically run all this. What we do need to do, what we do need to do, uh, is clean this up a little bit so we could get some heavy watt up here to these batteries. Because all the power generation is going to be down here. Boy, I feel like I built this whole thing kind of backwards, but I kind of want the heat to be up here and all the power up here. I don't want to do this. I definitely want the power generation at the bottom because everything leaks or excretes or emits or something. Everything has a byproduct of some sort. That's a, that's annoying. So yeah, I do want all that stuff at the bottom. So we'll run. We'll just run a heavy watt up there somehow, and then that'll just take care of powering all this stuff up. Just blow on it to cool it. <laughs> so easy. I guess the first thing we'll start with is a uh, is a natural gas generator. So we're gonna have some uh, nasty water come out of that, which we can just turn around and pipe back into probably over here, I guess. Or we could just pipe the natural gas out. You don't have any, yeah, you know, we don't have any of this stuff. And we just, all we have to do is get up to there. <laughs> That's simple enough. Actually, it's not that bad. Yeah, there really is no other way to, I guess I could go along here. And then just feed it into this somehow. Jump it and feed it into this whole system. That way we could, no, 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 no. We should just feed it into the natural gas generators that are already there. Problem is, bringing all that stuff over is going to be a huge bitch. So let's do it. Got to be done. You have a uh, pit planted food farms like Blossom Pitches. Those will not use resources. Thanks. I I don't even know if I have any pips that are alive right now. I'm not much of a... Uh, I'm not much of a rancher. I'm more of a feed all my dupes dirt. Compressed dirt. Kind of guy. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> this is really annoying. Cast bridge. Go up. And then we'll gas bridge over. And then we'll gas bridge up. And then some, one of these is going to be backwards. This has got to be. Always one, there's always one that's put in the wrong way. And then... Whoa. Then we'll gas bridge over. Now we'll gas bridge up. There we go. I don't know if that's really going to help. We're going to have some, some issues, get, things getting backed up. But uh, at the very least, we have something moving. I mean, it's not a, not a whole lot trickling in, you know? So, I mean, this is going to add a lot to it. But maybe that just means we run another natural gas generator somewhere. Shit. I'm right. I sh I, that's what I should do. Run another natural gas generator somewhere. And I think that's going to be, like, right over here. Hydrogen. What do hydrogen... What do they put out? I don't even know. My smooth hatch farms are actually out of control more so than the last episode. I, I haven't seen... God, I haven't even watched a video of anybody, like, with a functioning farm. Hmm. 
80 tons of refined metal with using refinery, but I need steel now. Yeah, I I, I was under the impression that I was going to just go to space. <laughs> Once upon a time. Hey, we're going to go to space, guys. It's going to be great. And then what? No. <laughs> too much. Too much. Too many requirements. Too many things that we need. So natural gas generators. We'll just sit one right here. That'll take care of that natural gas problem. And we'll just feed that right into the line here. And just with conductive wire. And then just another feed. And then we'll just get some uh, ventilation, some gas, and kill that. And then ventilation, natural gas, Jenny. Uh oh. Oh, thank God it was a selector, nothing else. Ventilation, natural gas. And we'll go in. And carbon dioxide, I guess we'll just dump that out. I don't really have a place to, to dump carbon dioxide. Except for over here. I guess I could contribute that. That that'll be what we use that. Oh damn, and I erased it. Fuck. <laughs> Just for the sake of keeping things clean, right? Keep and, and not having things out of control like this, because my other base that I have, my 1000 cycle base, is a complete nightmare. Uh we should go ahead and take the extra steps to take this and feed it up to the uh Oh gosh, no, no, don't do that. Uh feed it to the existing merge there. So we'll go, uh... Yeah. There we go. No, a bunch of bridges. Didn't I use more than one jump? I think I put a jump unnecessarily in there. None of you guys told me. So good, all this will get built. Natural gas generator is gonna dump shitty water down here. We're gonna have to figure out a way to get out of, get this out of here as soon as possible though. I do wanna collect up all this chlorine, but I don't know exactly how to do that just yet. That's a, this is a later issue. It's definitely not a right now issue. How's this doing over here? Green, solid green everywhere except for right here. 75 degrees, 64 degrees over here by this thing is 36 degrees. I truly feel that we might actually win this battle. Speaking of over here, let me see. So this has dropped about 18 degrees. The center one is now 140 degrees. So we've definitely reached a point where it's kind of leveling out. Um, this insulated tile is still really hot, but that'll eventually soon. Now we have 50 smooth hatches. <laughs> How funny. And then Inferno says, without a shitload of hatches. <laughs> you mean 50? <laughs> we turn off this fan. Turn off. Turn off. There we go. Freezing all day, and I come in here, I turn on the fan for some reason. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with me. I wonder if. Nah, we're still good. I wonder what they're doing from like day to day. Are they still working on this as a uh, primary thing? They have a lot of it up. What is the temperature over here, actually? 96 degrees. 96.8 degrees. So we did manage to drop the temperature over here pretty significantly. 93 degrees. It was 140 degrees. And we're not even done. We still have plenty of other uh, like construction projects for all the uh, all the temp shift plates. So great. Key generation elsewhere. This hot tub is uh, just basically putting out heat and heating this entire room and making it unpleasant. So I think we're going to kill the hot tub. We don't have water that's cold enough to really put in there. So it's going to kill the hot tub. It sucks. Really wanted to give these guys a hot tub. Pneumatic tubes, I know, me too. I just need the, uh, I, I just need the, uh, what's it called? Plastic. <sighs> wow, that was quick. Let me see, that, yeah, that wasn't even dev speed. They just like knocked that out super fast. All right, let's see, so furniture, we gotta put something else in there and make it nice. How about a mechanical surfboard? What do we need for that? Power, liquid, water, effects, heat, puts out a little bit of heat, but you know what? That's the input. Let's put it right here. Let's uh, flip it. Oh, you can't flip these, huh? Okay. Well, I guess for sure we'll put it right there. Water in. And then, let me see. A juicer. Juicer, liquid intake pipe, bristle berry meal lice, puts out a little bit of heat. And that's it. So we'll put, uh, let's put it, damn, juicer. Wow, this thing's a monster. I was thinking it was gonna be like a Keurig or something. This is like a fucking factory. All right, we're not going to use that. <laughs> that was unexpected. 
How about a soda fountain, for fuck's sake? Please, liquid intake. Li liquid intake, carbon dioxide. Uh, wait. Consumes carbon dioxide. Wow, but it uses a lot of power. Hmm. I mean, how close am I to the... I'm pretty close to the carbon dioxide. So I could probably just, uh... Flip this. I feel it's weird facing that direction. But yeah, I could just run. What, just water? And then, uh... Run carbon dioxide to it. That's... Yeah, let's do it. Need a canister filler. Wait, what? Need a canister filler for the CO2? No, it should have a, uh... It should have on the... Oh, it doesn't have a gas input? How do... Okay, so... Huh. Needs a canister filler. Which, I mean, I think I have. Uh, it's under ventilation, I guess. Canister emptier, canister filler. Yeah, here we go. So I could, I guess I could just put one down here. That's fine. Yeah. There'll be uh, a liquid and, and then a gas. And then, yeah, sure, that'll work. And that'll just run the pipe. We'll just steal from this. We'll just go, uh, we'll see from this side here. There we go. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. No, 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 no. If it's going to go up into the base area, I'm going to want it to be insulated. Huh, how funny. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get that cleaned up there. Now we can probably seal this off with some more insulated tile. And then we'll leave the rest there. This is a, is that, that's a bissel light. Leave that there. Crown molding looks weird now. <laughs> we'll fix it later. That is water mess everywhere. Alright, the dupes have tons of tasks. Like, they have- there's tasks all over this bitch. Like, and they're not getting hardly anything done. I wonder if there's a reason why- Oh, look at the food! I knew it! I knew there was something wrong! Something is not right. We're at 25,000 kilocalories. Uh, alright, so what's the problem? There is somebody over here cooking, right? No, he's not. He's running over here to get food. Fried mushroom. Okay, so what's the deal here? This thing is, uh, enabled by automation grid, so it's on. This thing is full of what? Probably cooking ingredients. Sleet wheat grain. Okay, so sleet wheat grain is basically r just ruining us. Let's go ahead and drop that out. That number, that, that thing's gonna fall. Yeah, look at that. It's all sleet wheat grain. Uh, we're gonna have sleet wheat go in here. So, let's see. Let's see, yeah, it's fine. They'll, they'll put it over there automatically. In there. And actually, what we'll do is we'll keep cooking ingredient there. We'll keep the, ed the edible out. That way we can have a better idea of what kind of food stores we actually have available to us. So no cooking ingredients in here at all. And no medicine in there at all either. And it's empty. So we have no food. Basically. Uh, this thing is enabled by automation grid, so they can come over here and work on it. But I bet it's probably a low priority. Five. Uh, or five, which is pretty low. <laughs> let's go ahead and tell it to make all that, tell it to make all that, and then, uh, let's raise it up, and let's go assign somebody as the cook, and make them only the cook. So let's see, priorities, let's see. Who is the cook? Operating research is decorating cooking, uh, Boots is a cook. Boots is actually the only cook. So maybe we should tell Boots to not do anything else. Because he has other things on his mind, he wants to operate, machinery. He wants to dig. So how about no? No. Uh, I guess he need to run his own supply, so we'll do that in store, sure. Uh, building. No building. No ranching. Let me see. No researching. No... Uh, maybe tidying from time to time. None of that. None of toggling. None of life support and attack. It's fine. If five is low priority, one is disabled. Five is the one. Five is, is, is one. <laughs> Body temperature, why is this thing getting so warm? Huh, 86 degrees. I wonder what's putting out so much heat. Oh, duh, they're right underneath the- oh, hey, look, ice. <laughs> it's right underneath the damn thing, so yeah, I, I totally understand why that's probably pretty warm. The electrolyzer is right underneath it. Up here, it's fine, though. There's a lot of heat radiating off of, uh... I guess the temp shift plates are pushing everything north. <laughs> or up. 
Hey, look at that nice and cool in here, 118 degrees. Mm -mm -mm. Has had zero impact on everything up here. Anyway, so yeah, we should see our, our food supply start to go up. Uh, if if I could stop these guys from eating. Okay, good. So they're gonna mush bar. I'm sorry, that's not good, but it's something. Let me see. We'll make this an eight, and we'll make this a nine. That way he'll he'll pinch out the uh, the loaves here, and then he'll fry them up over here. There we go. And the priority will be in frying them up before they put them away. All right. Wow. So that's um. To a 10 grain per sleet wheat harvest of memory serves, that's a lot. How did you get 500? Your, ha, your dupes are normally dead by now? I, I did it because I have taken my time with everything. Uh, mo I think most seasoned players will be like on a rocket ship, probably in 100 cycles or less. But for me, I like to take my time and try to make it, make it last. <laughs> really, I just want to make it last. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, this is six actually, so that's not too bad. What is this guy at? Uh, five, which is also fine. Back pressure release threshold, that's fine, 75%. Uh, this area, how are these things doing? Coolness, 96.4 degrees, that's totally manageable. The canister filler is good. The soda fountain has not yet been built. I did make it out of aluminum, that might be a problem. Look how happy Martha is. Oh, look at that big old smile. <laughs> Why is Martha so happy? Mingling. Martha is so happy. What is his uh, morale level? High morale, negative 18%. I don't know how that works. Missing strings, duplicates, modifiers, dancing name, minus 0.13%. God, I hope that's not important. Okay, they're not going to build this because of the lack of aluminum. So let's go ahead and actually swap that out for... Oh, here they came. Martha Cry came with it right there. He's like, yeah, I'm ready to build that boss. And it's gone. Let's go... It's <laughs> a fucking huge smile. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make a vertical wind tunnel, huh? What the heck? Is Martha having a vacation? Oh my gosh, Martha might be on vacation still. <laughs> that might be the reason why. Martha's so happy. Uh, let's see. Gold decor plus 50%. Let's make it out of gold. We'll put that bitch right here. He's got YouTube views to worry about. If you get to end game quick, then poof! No. I, I, <laughs> that's not at all why. No, I'm exclusively taking my time because I want to... Make it work. I have too many times, especially like the my 1,000. Uh, what is that made out of again? Uh, the back, let's see, granite, okay. The the 1,000 cycle playthrough, just like, so much was wrong, and I felt like I, towards the end of the last 400 cycles, I spent all that time just trying to like, just trying to fix problems, like nonstop. Like worse than what we're experiencing now. Oh God, it's gonna put you, okay. Uh, like right now, it's not too bad. Gotta really clean up all this mess, guys. Oh, it needs power too, yeah. Alright, so now we definitely need to split this stuff up. We need to have another... Like, there's not, this power is not running off anything right now, so we need to run this into something. Uh, let's just go ahead and do the. Okay. Let's go to uh, here. Mm, let's wait. Let's wait, actually. Oh god, I got all fucked up. Let me take a look at the power line here. And see. So we have all the... All the... <laughs> Recreational stuff is all on one circuit. Let's let's have this recreational stuff on one and the other on another. So we'll snip it here. That's easy enough. We'll just go. Uh, should I take that now? Just snip right there. Snip, and then we will run power directly up into this line, and then or maybe we'll make it neat and go over here and go up. There we go. What's it need? Liquid intake? Oh, I didn't run that pipe either. And we'll just go... Mmm... Let's... That goes out into that. So let's go ahead and kill this, this, and this. And then all these. Kaboom, baby! Kaboom! Who's that? Mr. Clunkers! The duping continues! Clunkers, what up? How many hours do you have in, uh... In Oxygen Not Included? Like stupid number. Oh, actually, we'll go and keep the keep those there. I'm guessing a lot, <laughs> a lot, a lot. Let me kill that. Oh, we just just connects just connect those ones. How funny! A couple warnings. What is that? Scalding. What are they doing over there? Oh, Navy Devil. What are you doing over here? Why are you here? Okay. 
Oh, he's hurting. Yeah, we don't need anybody over here anymore. Don't, don't, uh, yeah, don't go, don't go that way. This is going to take a long time to get this, uh, to get all this water out. This is crazy. Out of 12 bases, only 370 hours, but I never leave them alone for even a sec. I don't trust them ever. Yeah, I let them cruise, man. I put this shit on dev speed. I'm just like, get them, dupes. Get them. We have some priority issues over here, it looks like. They're getting it. They're getting it. But let's go ahead and uh, speed things up a little bit. Give them some eights. Whatever that is. What is that? Oh, destroy an old thing. These cables need to be done. Is, did... These cables are... Oh, they have... Okay, they are... Those... that's what I said to eight. Okay, good. There's layered there. Is no power any of the stuff, man. You guys gotta get it, get it moving. How about you guys clean? How about you guys clean up this mess while you're in here, huh? 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 Get to work. That's so good. That'll keep it separate. So now we have two circuits. One that's gonna be the recreational circuit one, and then another that's a recreational circuit number two. And if they run both the arcade and the jukebox, they will actually detonate this line. <laughs> uh, man. And, and the massage tables. It's crazy how little wiggle room you have when you put things on the other side of a transformer. You gotta have so many of these damn transformers just to run. I mean, especially when you come to rec room stuff, like, it's crazy. It serves you to make a mess every time it's used. Oh, it does? Or uh, you, you see the tongue face. I can't tell. Is this a kappa moment? Is this a kappa moment? I'm just missing it. <laughs> Hurry up and get this stuff done, guys. Get this shit done. It's gonna watch. Ooh, okay, wow. Didn't ask. No kappa. Oh, it makes, makes a mess every time? Oh, that's funny. Uh oh. Martha's now. Oh, man. Martha was great. Oh, now food poisoning. Great. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the schedule here. <sighs> Martha has been on vacation for weeks. Months, maybe. Now it's food poisoning. Now this is when you have to go in. This is like real life right here, Martha. All right? Whenever you go on vacation, you either get sick right right before you go on vacation or right as you're coming back to work. 100 cycles, don't even. Don't tell me that. <laughs> don't tell me that. Refuse to acknowledge that. All right. I think we could probably go ahead and tell this thing to be uh, a five. Make that a five. Cause there's there's so many jobs down here that we're just not getting done. Cause there's just so much stuff. All the all the there's so many. This is like seriously like the day that we do just endless construction. There's so much construction. Thank we have a cook over here to keep everybody fed and happy. Oxygen level is still pretty good considering we haven't pulled oxygen from the uh, from the other side forever. Like we put a little trick little trickle here and there from this machine and that's it. Nothing from over here. Oh, this room must be cold now, man. 59 degrees. Looking pretty good. 33 degrees over here. Hell, we might actually see some ice form at some point. Can we make... I mean, if we could get it cold enough, can we bring in, like, the slowest trickle of water? Like, seriously, just the slowest trickle of water and just rebuild the snow? Like, how cold would it have to be? I mean, I know in real life, 32 degrees is it, right? But in the game, there's got to be a, a point where it triggers, like, an insta-freeze, you know? Like, the water sets, and then it just, like, flash-freezes almost. Under 32. Right, okay, so it's, it is just, like, I know water doesn't burst at 32. Somebody told me it was 25 that the water water will burst in, uh, in, uh, in pipes at 25. Cause I had water going through that was that was under freezing, but it wasn't under 25. Dormant and idle erupts. Okay, good. You'll crash the game first. How are these guys doing? 96 degrees. Oh man, just 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 fine. Just doing fine. Check out. The piped out mod allows you to take gases and liquids from things like electrolyzers and oil refineries to place those places those gases can be used without needing to pump them. Oh, I already have a piped electrolyzer and the 
as much as that felt like cheating, like initially I was kind of like, oh man, it's kind of cheating. They just just straight up just taking it right out. Um, it does kind of make sense that you. Oh, okay, no, it, it, they increase the power usage to 480, so it's almost like running a pump and electrolyzer at the same time. So there's a trade off there, but I haven't seen the other one though. Around zero to 12 degrees Fahrenheit for a quick freeze. I might be able to rebuild this. I might be able to rebuild it. This down here can just basically run on its own for now, I think. Like, maybe we should actually stop all this for now. You know what? Yeah, I think we should stop this for now. Let's flip the switch. Turn it off. No, turn it off. Turn it off. We're done. I think we're done collecting all- because we're about to be packed up here. There we go. Yeah, see this? See? 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 Get some work done now. Uh, this is no power, so it's not gonna work. Great, everything here can just chill for a bit. Just for a bit. We'll come back to you. Now we're getting other stuff done. Look at all the stuff that's getting done! See how- see how easy it is to... Get distracted? Dupes? Jesus. <laughs> they get distracted so quickly. One of these pipes is actually not hooked up. Oh man, this water is full. Whoa. Oh man. Uh huh. Well. It's pretty hot water too, 120 degrees. God, that surfboard really does make a mess every single time. Alright, what can I use that consumes a lot of water real fast as I don't have a whole lot of um God damn it. I'm, I'm just I'm take this the surfboard's done. We're done with the surfboard. Too much of a mess. It's ridiculous. Uh let me take a look and see what what do I have that uses water? <laughs> do I have like hydro power facility or something? I don't know. Let me see. Uh let's go into plumbing first and just see if there's anything there. Obviously not, but I just want to look at it, I guess. Let's go to refinement and see. Does an algae distiller? No, that creates water. Uses polluted water to produce fertilizer. Outputs the liquid piped into it. Significantly heats. I don't want to do that. Huh, it looks like... I mean, if I want to use some of the polluted water, I can, but right now I have a bunch of clean water as a problem. We put a bunch of uh, sinks all over the place, make people wash their hands constantly. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I know the oil wells use water, but we shut those off, so that's going to back up. Ice maker, we can give her a bunch of water to ice. Not many things use a lot of water. Yeah, 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 I'm starting to see that now. Um... Converts water into ice. How much power does it use? 60 watts. How much? 60 watts isn't a lot. Space. <laughs> You're right, I can just shoot it off into space. That'll solve a lot. Super easy. Just thump. <laughs> let's make some uh let's make some ice. How much heat is it? Uh, this thing probably the the uh, ice maker puts out some heat. Was it sixteen? Oh, it's only six. Oh, sixteen thousand KDTU's. Where I think the this thing was what? Let me see. I don't under, I don't understand exactly what sixteen thousand uh, uh, sixty thousand DTU's means. I know what a DTU is. It's like a measurement of heat, but I don't know what that number means. Like I know what one hundred degrees Fahrenheit means, but I don't know what. You know, 16,000 DTUs means in terms of just pure, like, output. So let's look at the... If I look at the surfboard, which I just saw, the surfboard has a heat of only 1,000 DTUs. You know, it's funny, I actually own a small handheld, like, a small portable ice maker. And it really does put out a lot of heat. And that's just, like, that's just basic science. It's like, listen, you can't just... You're not just cooling it, you're extracting heat energy, and it has to go somewhere. Because Jen, Jen got it for the for the camp for camping, and I was like, well, it's got to sit outside because the, it just doesn't magically make ice. It, it extracts heat, and the heat has to go somewhere. Um, 
And so, yeah, obviously it's going to be the same thing with the ice makers in here. So I got to figure out if I'm going to use one to help take care of some of that water. Uh, where am I going to sit them? I was wondering if you're going to make a crazy amount of heat from itty bitty amount of ice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Dupe thermal units. <laughs> Dupe thermal unit? Oh, I'm thinking BTUs. Oh my god. Yeah, you're right. Is is it actually dupe thermal unit? Or are you joking? Like, <laughs> maybe I'm. Maybe I got it backwards. Hey, just made some ice. Look at that. Uh, let's go ahead. Let me see. Up here, it's pretty nice and chill. 83 degrees. Up here, it's pretty nice and chill. Let's just put some somewhere. Aluminum ore. How funny. I have zero of that. So yeah, we definitely need that. Yeah, let's uh, let's put an ice maker in somewhere. Let's wait for it to save. So let's see, utilities, ice maker. Let's put two ice makers in, because I'm feeling crazy. Okay, I was trying to flip it, but all right. Damn it, I hate when it does this. Flip it, can I flip it? Oh, you can't. Some things you can, you can't. All right, two of them. And then we're some wire to it. They're pretty lightweight in terms of power usage, so we'll just go ba boom ba blam And then we'll go plumbing. Oops. And we'll grab insulated wire. We'll just grab, uh, and we'll just run it straight past that, I think. Oh, well, this is gone now, so. Uh, should I go? Oh, that's, you know, it's covered, actually. I forgot. Oh, there is no. Oh, it takes bottled water. Ah, okay. Got it. It's bottled water. The D might stand for dupe. There you go. So yeah, it's going to take uh, bottle water. So from here, there you go. It gets full. Whoa. <laughs> Holy crap. Already. 109 degrees, 110 degrees, 112 degrees, 117 degrees, 120 degrees. Wow. Oh my god. Not though, not that bad! <laughs> huh. That's... That's not good. I mean, 140 degrees. I'm, I'm waiting for it to actually stop. I'm waiting for... I'm trying to get it to the point where it actually stops. I want to see what it tops out at. And then if it cools long enough for it to... Uh, to not melt down. So there it is, not in use anymore. Ooh, oh man, they fill it up right away. I don't know where the ice is going, by the way. Where do you put that ice? Hold on a second. <laughs> I have no idea, liquefiable. Let's find that ice. Uh, ice on the ground, ice on the ground, ice. Chilling right there, I guess. Well, oh, wait, where, where did I put it? They definitely can't pick some up, right? Well, let's do this. Since I don't think there's any yeah, there's no liquefiable in any of these. I used to have one, like, in a water area or something. Um, but I think what I'll do is I'll put a canister out here, and then I'll just have it just basically store ice. And they can just run out here and just put it there, right? Just further help keep this area cool. Not a lot of place I could put. I guess I'll put it right on top of a drain. It's fine. Bam, there it goes. And then we'll just say liquefiable. So you're going to get ice and crushed ice. And uh, well, snow. All the ice stuff. Wait for it to turn full red. Yeah, seriously. It's still going. Look at this. 159 degrees, 160 degrees. What's the melting point of this thing? Melting point. Oh. <laughs> uh, it, it, it'll be a while before we get to that point. If you're on mobile, I'll tell you, it's 2,794.7 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,534.9 degrees Celsius, or 1,808,000, or 1,808 Kelvin. So, it will take a good long while. Could drop ice on them. Yeah, oxyphrins are totally good. We're, oxyphrins are great. The wheeze warts are just, uh, are just handling it. Speaking of, though, we should probably take a look at what kind of cultivatable soil... 
No. Uh, filtration medium. Agriculture. Hold on, let's wait. Agriculture. Phosphorite. We have 11. Okay, we have plenty. 11.7 tons, and we have a lot of fertilizer too. So, iron melts at 20. I, I didn't realize I made it out of iron, but I guess I did. Iron ore. Great. So it's just gonna make ice now. I guess we'll keep an eye on that to see how much ice we're actually making over time. Right now, there's zero in here, so we'll just see. And actually, we should make that like a nine. That way, they don't pick up that ice immediately, so it's not sitting here melting, and they bring it over. So let's take a look at our liquefiable list ice good so there's already ice in there great and a, a good amount actually already wow some of that was huh some of that's a we're getting a lot of ice <laughs> Uh, wait, are we? Wait, is that four? Wait, hold on a second. Did we get like a package of like 4,000 or something and we only made 90 so far? What is the rate of ice creation? You can make things out of ice. You can make like, ice sculptures and stuff too. Um, oh, somebody else, Matt. Uh, yeah. You can make something out of ice. Yeah. Shift plates. Okay, see, that sounds like black magic fuckery right there. Uh oh, what happened? Okay, we have a problem. This shouldn't happen. 